Coming up is part one of the course from MakeThatTrack.com. As a member of our website, you get access to all the links, presets, samples and loops and also project files, including MIDI, for all the tutorials on the site. Enjoy this free tutorial and be sure to check us out at MakeThatTrack.com. Hey guys, welcome to part one of our Cubase Tech House tutorial. In this video, we're going to be setting up our basic drum beats and drum patterns. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to import a bunch of uh, audio clips into a MIDI device so that we can use a MIDI clip to uh, create a drum pattern and also to play a drum kit with a MIDI keyboard. So in order to do this, um, we need to set up our device, but first let's uh, fix our tempo. So I'm going to hit F2 to bring up the transport panel. And by default, the tempo is set to 120. And we want our tempo to be 124, so I'm just going to click tempo to unlock it and then drag that up to 124. Then I can hide that panel by pressing F2 again. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is right click on this panel here, choose add instrument track. And then on this menu, click and go down to drum groove agent. Okay, and that's going to add a MIDI track here and it's going to bring up the groove agent for us to uh, work with. Now we just have a bunch of uh, empty pads here that we can assign audio clips to, which we can then use to create a MIDI pattern or to play these pads with a MIDI keyboard or MIDI controller. So in order to get audio into these pads, what we need to do is go to media, open pool window, and right here is where we can set a bunch of uh, custom folders for us to work with within Cubase. And uh, I've already done this, so I'm just going to open up Drum Rack, and we're just going to start dragging our audio into uh, these pads here. So I'm going to drag our kick in, then we have a couple snaps. We got a clap. And we have a light snare that we're going to use for a fill. Okay, so now I can close this. Now I can uh, click on any of these pads to play the sample. And also, you can see that each of these pads is set to a different key. So C1, C sharp 1, D1, D sharp 1, and so on. And if we were to press these keys on a MIDI keyboard or MIDI controller, we'd be able to play the kit. So what we want to do now is write in a pattern by using a MIDI clip. So let's go ahead and close Groove Agent. And then in our empty song here, we're just going to right click and choose the pencil tool. I'm just going to draw in a clip. And then we can go back to the arrow tool. And then if we double click on this, it's going to open up the score editor for us. So our kick was set to C1. So if we just start with C1, I can go to the pencil tool and start drawing in notes. Okay, and if we listen, the claps sound like they come in a little bit uh, late. So we go back to our arrow tool here, and we select these. We can hold control to bypass the grid, and then just drag them to be a little bit earlier. That might be a little much. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is go back into Groove Agent, and we have snap right and snap left, and we're going to want to pan these. So I'm going to go to snap left, and I'm just going to change the pan knob all the way to the left, and then snap right, we're going to make all the way to the right. And we're going to turn down our clap, so we're going to turn down this volume knob here. Okay, so now I can click on this and duplicate it a few times. Okay, and now let's add a little bit of a fill. 
So I have MIDI prepared for this, and I'm just going to go to the folder where the MIDI is. I'm going to drag Drum Fill in. Okay. Now that snare light is just a little bit loud, so let's turn that down. Okay, now we have our basic drum beat. So let's get uh, some more samples in here. Uh, let's get some hi-hats in here, and uh, what we're going to do for that is just use audio clips. So we're going to go into our pool window. I'm going to go into hi-hats. And uh, let's get this open hat here. Let's drag that in. We'll have this happen on every upbeat. But as you can see, it's not going to let me drag it because of our grid settings. So I'm going to go up here to Beat, and I'm going to click Use Quantize so that I can uh, set uh, how I want the uh, snapping to occur. So we're going to select 1 over 8. Now I can snap to in between here. So we can hold Alt and drag to copy this. Then we can uh, drag and select these and hold Alt to uh, drag and copy the entire group. Okay, and now this, this is going to be a little bit loud, so let's uh, click on them and go over here to where our volume control is and turn them down. Okay, let's get some more hats in here. So we'll go back to our pool window. We'll drag in closed hat right. Okay, so that's going to be loud as well, so let's turn that down. And just like the name implies, we're going to pan this a little bit to the right. Maybe turn down the volume a little bit more. Okay, now we can select this and hold Control or Command and D to duplicate. Okay, now let's uh, let's get some more samples in here. So I'm going to go into other percussion. And I'm going to drag down tambourine left and tambourine right. We're going to use these to uh, accentuate every second beat. So we've got two new tracks here. We'll zoom in. So we're going to want to place these two samples where the snaps and the clap are hitting. Okay, and we can drag this handle back in the bottom right of the clip so that we can uh, copy and drag them over. Okay. So now we're going to pan them left and right. And we'll turn them down as well. Now let's uh, just make this be a little bit more interesting with some extra hats. So back into our pool window, I'm going to drag in extra hats. Okay, and we're going to want to turn this down a little bit. This is just going to help our beat be a little bit less rigid. Okay, and finally, let's just get one more sample in here. I'm going to go into other percussion and drag down metallic perk. And we're going to use this at the end of every four bars. I'm going to have that hit where these snaps are. 
And having this at the end of every four bars is just going to help the listener keep track of uh, the count of beats subconsciously. So let's take a listen to that. Okay, and that's going to do it for our drums. In the next video, we're going to be setting up some of our instruments. We hope you've enjoyed part one of this course. To continue, please go to the website and select a membership to suit your needs. Welcome to MakeThatTrack.com. At Make That Track, we provide everything you need to make your favorite style of music from start to finish. Our Getting Started series will show a complete beginner where to start and what they need to do to start making music out of the box. Once the basics are grasped, you can learn how to make the genre of your choice with everything that you need in the process. Want to know how to make that elusive sound from your favorite producer's tracks? Check out our How To Make That Sound tutorials. We take the guesswork out and show you exactly what you need to do to get that sound within a few simple steps. With tips on arrangement, mixing, mastering and effects, you'll have everything you need to prepare your tracks to send to a record label and to play in the clubs. Get everything you need to make the music you love today.